In today's video, we'll preview Broken Arrow's gameplay, covering the different dynamics of realism, tactics, and general feel of playing the game to show you guys what you can expect when this much-anticipated RTS releases in 2024. I played the demo and the beta, so I can give you guys the preview for my feel of the game and the publicly released development information we have at hand. But I will not give out specifics from the beta due to a non-disclosure agreement we signed when signing on to it. On a slider from arcade to realistic RTS gameplay, Broken Arrow is more geared toward the realistic and tactical gameplay and this shows on multiple levels. For starters, the damage models are very realistic and unforgiving, forcing you as the player to be more tactical so your army is not turned to shreds in the first assault. Units with cannons like tanks and artillery can score a direct hit on infantry out in the open and can easily wipe out 10 men or 75% of the squad with a single shell. Artillery is especially devastating and is one of the main damage deals in Broken Arrow. Even a well-placed mortar hit can take out 4-5 to five men in the squad as the splash damage is very realistic when it comes to the size of the artillery. When you get into the class of missile artillery, you can take down entire buildings of infantry to clear the way for your forces to advance. We saw this in the demo where you were given access to a Tomahawk missile that could take out whole units with a single strike. This damage model makes you think more tactically as you're forced to disperse your units so they're not taken out by an artillery strike. When you attack, you have to conceal your units so that the enemy doesn't call in their missiles and mortars to spoil your assault. So you're always playing that game of cat and mouse, hiding your units while the enemy hunts for them. The gameplay is heavily affected by the units you bring to the battle as their capabilities are limited, more to realism, so you have to use them based on those limitations. For example, infantry RPGs only have 400 meters of range, so they must be kept very close to enemy armor or hiding in buildings in an ambush to have any effect. Thanks for cans on the flip side have a thousand meters of range, so they're best used as standoff fire support so they're not ambushed. Tanks also have strong front throw armor, but weak side armor. So you have to support them in the flank so they're not destroyed by ATGM teams. Helicopters are powerful anti-armor gunships, but just feel like in real life, if they get too close to enemy units, even IFVs or autocans can shred helicopters, so you have to keep them at standoff distance and use their strengths. Planes in Broken Arrow can do much more than just bombing, like pair drop troops, scout enemy positions, and even land supplies to keep your army going. So using the Air Force is critical to achieving success in Broken Arrow. Similarly, how you construct your army using the limited points you have before the game will affect how you play the match. If you construct a Soviet cheap tank rush army with T-72s and BMPs, you may play more in a horde-like fashion sending armor forward and taking heavy losses, but ultimately taking the objective and using the economy to win the match. If you have a high-tech US airborne army, you may pair drop ranger teams to capture key locations before the enemy gets there and use F-18s and HIMARS to bomb the enemy off the battlefield with a much smaller army. Choosing your deck before the match through the point system changes how the gameplay will progress in a match, so it's important to make sure you have the army that fits you and not just an army with units jumbled together. When Broken Arrow releases, experimentation will be vital into finding what works for you as a player, and with 300 units and 1500 add-ons, there's more than enough for each playstyle to experiment with. In terms of difficulty, Broken Arrow ranks higher than the average RTS and definitely has a steep learning curve for new players. Even I myself, who had played the similar RTSs like Warno and Wargame Red Dragon, found Broken Arrow to be difficult when I played the beta and demo. Most units die very quickly and because of the customization, your army will face more, many more threats than a standard RTS. If you don't know what your units are capable of and what damage they can withstand, you will get smoked by players who have that knowledge. Due to all the customization, it is more important than any other RTS that you know your army and use your units based on what they can and can't do to keep them alive. This introduces a familiar rock paper scissors dynamic that we see in most RTSs. Infantry are good at holding ground and ambushing attackers, so they're best used to capture and hold buildings and key terrain or fight under infantry. Tanks can take punishment from the front and have standoff cannons and some anti-tank missiles for the Russians. They're best used as fire support and fighting other armored vehicles, while being able to withstand some damage from the front. The realism is everywhere in Broken Arrow, and if you've played other realistic real-time strategy games like Warno, you'll have an advantage over new players. Many of the concepts are similar, but just taken to the next level with a larger variety of units. For new players in the realistic RTS genre, I highly recommend they play single-player skirmishes and the campaign before even thinking about multiplayer. Broken Arrow is going to be the kind of RTS that attracts the hardcore gamer, prowls the servers looking for new players to destroy. This will cause newcomers to quit the game and hurt the community long term. If you are one of the more veteran players in the future, make sure to help the new people out so the community doesn't shrink like we already see in Warno, where only 500 people play regularly. Broken Arrow is the type of game where if a positive and encouraging online community is set up, we can help new people to learn and ultimately stay in the community. Broken Arrow's gameplay promises to be more tactical, challenging, and unpredictable than the RTSs before. With over 300 units in the game and 1500 customizations, players will be experimenting creating new armies for years to come. I'm excited for the release of Broken Arrow in 2024 and look forward to playing this game with you guys in multiplayer. For more Broken Arrow previews, please subscribe as if enough people subscribe, I'll keep making these videos. Thank you guys.